Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another great episode of Bahrain Now, your source of local initiatives, happenings, talents, and trends. I'm your host, Bara Abdallah, here to walk you through our exciting lineup of segments and personalities from around Bahrain. So don't go away, we'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, the fitness industry has been growing in the past years and many people want to become an athlete or a coach as the world moves into more dynamic, active and healthy era. As people have more becoming keen on health and wellness, today we will learn more about a fitness and nutrition facility in Bahrain to help you with your fitness career. Khalid Njum, the CEO and founder of the International Fitness Alliance, and Melody Mercedes, the Director of Operations and Business Development. Good evening and welcome. Thank you so much for having us on the show, Barra. It's a pleasure being here. It's definitely an honor, man. Thank you so much for passing by Thank here. You. Thank you for having us. Definitely, definitely. So what's been going on? Lots have been going on actually right now. Wow, we've just been blown away by all the love and support that we've received here in Bahrain. Right. Um, I know you want to know a little bit about I would love to. <laughs> our background I would love again. to. I'll start myself. So I'm, my name is Khaled. I'm born and raised in Newcastle, England. Mm. I did my college degree in Buffalo, New York in health service and exercise sports studies. Wow. I met my beautiful wife. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> a, uh, Lovely. A long time ago. Um, so I played professional basketball. That's okay. been my first love. Wow. Um, yeah, so it's really fitness and health has been part of my life forever. Man. And I really felt the uh, benefits of it, right? Amazing. Uh, I mean, it shows. It really <laughs> shows, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, yeah. Um, after college, I went back to England, worked for a little while in some sports academies, played some basketball, mm. and finally came over to the Middle East 11 years ago now. 11 <laughs> years ago. Yeah. yeah wow. So I was like, yeah. Um, it was amazing. Came to manage a gym. And when I started to manage, obviously, the first thing you do is recruit your team. Right. And when I was getting recruitment, when I was recruiting, I found a lot of people didn't have access to fitness education. Right, right. So, you know, I started researching and checking what it was. So. That was always like kind of heavy on my heart, like, okay, this needs to happen out here. Mm. And um, yeah, so I was managing, got some funny um, CVs as well, people just sending <laughs> pictures of themselves. <laughs> and this is why you should have it, but um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was pretty cool. But yeah, long wow. story short, I was able to bring a academy over from the UK, a franchise okay. that would deliver full-time education for fitness and health here in the Middle East. So. Wow. Started 11 years ago with a amazing. professor from the UK and just fell in love amazing, with it. Amazing, amazing, amazing. This is so inspirational. <laughs> so how was the reception so far? Uh, it's been wonderful. Um, we are, we've delivered in different countries throughout the Middle East, mm. BCC. Um, so Bahrain, I consider home since I got here wow. two years ago. Wow. It's it's wow. my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Bahrain is absolutely my favorite. Um, I love the passion from our students. It's mm. the most, Bahrain has presented the most incredible mix. We wow. have moms who have never been in the workforce or haven't been in a long time, right. become passionate about fitness and nutrition mm. as moms and join our courses. We have people from the banking, um, from the business sector, policemen who join wow. because they started working out, fell in love with it, and now want to learn more and want to help their families, want to help their friends. And we have fitness professionals in the industry who now are looking to level up because fitness has become such a boom in the Middle East mm. and taking off in, in Bahrain. So it's exciting. It, we feel like we're like, a part of um, getting to help shape the industry, but right. with the right mm -hmm. footing, with education um, and, a, and a family nutrition, like health focus. So it's been exciting. So Bahrain's are my favorite. <laughs> 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 well, much appreciated for that. That's definite. See. It's very interesting that, you know, 11 years ago, right? Mm -hmm. So fitness is all over the world, but what made you come to the Middle East? Like say, you know what, I need to go there. Mm. I mean, I was born and raised in a Muslim household. Mm. So I felt the barriers of entering into sport and from a young age, you know, right. my cousins, my mom, they were very good athletes. And so when they got to a certain age, 
um, it was like a class that said you can't do anything <laughs> else, right? <laughs> so yeah, I've saw that and I want to kind of help and make the biggest impact and this is where I thought we could, we could do that. Um, wow. And it's been amazing and one thing we have to say is that, you know, the Arab ladies, the Bahraini ladies, they're mm. going to take over the world. Yep. They're so passionate, they're so determined. Wow. It's just, mm -hmm. I'm just a privilege to be a part of the change, oh, the yeah. health and fitness revolution that's happening in this, in this area. I can totally say, <laughs> you know, on behalf of Bahrain, thank you. <laughs> like I can just feel it right now. I can hear it right now. It's like you're, you're changing the game here yeah. pretty much. And really it's thank you to Bahrain and yeah. thank you for all the guys that have been here to support us. Like I say, we've been operating in a few countries now around mm. the region, around the world now. And Bahrain has really, and it's not just saying that because we're here, <laughs> yeah. they've been the more supportive and the most receptive to date. Um, yeah. We have the Ministry of Youth and Sports with the project that we're working mm. right now with Paralympians, wow. with yeah. um, you know oh, yeah. hearing impaired. So the um, the whole course is being signed. It's just we've been yeah. blown away by the reception here. Pretty busy, huh? <laughs> it is. It, it's an incredible course. Yeah. So speaking of courses, so what kind of courses you guys kind of offer or offering right now as well? Okay, so we have a, a range of courses. Our foundation is our fitness instructor qualification, gives coaches or someone who wants to get into the industry a real firm understanding of anatomy and physiology about okay. the body. Okay. And then once they understand the body, probably it's very important because there's different types of clients, there's different um, ages of people that you're gonna work with. Um, and once you understand what happens in your body, you mm. can make a change to it, right? Mm. So then we go into the principles. We don't tell people what to and what not to do. Mm. We give them principles so that they can empower their clients to the best, best Amazing. Part, so Amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So fitness instructor qualification, we do personal training qualification, okay. where it's more advanced, where you can work one-on-one -on -one with people right. and help them to achieve their goals. Wow. We do workshops like kickboxing and boxing and kettlebells, strength and condition qualification, so huh. lots and lots of courses. And like I guess the education, course, we love it. It never stops. So not just with our courses or we, we're constantly learning as well. Mm. And it's something we try to instill as a value in our students is that it's not just getting a certificate, it's not just learning now. Right. This should be a habit throughout whatever career you do, but especially in fitness because mm -hmm. there's so much research and we learn so much about the body. It's such amazing. an amazing thing. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. Is there like, you know, prerequisites? Like, you know, can, I j can anybody join? Yeah. <laughs> So the fitness instructor course is the foundation course to get into the industry. Um, so there are no prerequisites for that. For personal trainer, which is the advanced course, that does require that you have completed fitness instructor first. Right. And so and these are international um, qualifications. However, our nutrition course, for example, there are no pre-qualifications for okay. that. Okay. Um, that's available to everyone. And then we have continuing education, which mm. is where we do kickboxing instructor, boxing instructor, suspension, wow. boot camp, <laughs> indoor wow. cycling, um, and kettlebell. Um, as well, in addition to some of the other ones of strength and conditioning. And we offer regular workshops. Um, we also do a lot of things on our social media. Like right. our, uh, we, do, we have IG Lives where we feature a different topic um, just to educate the public as well as can provide continuing education for our current students and our graduates. So anything from programming and periodization to understanding supplements. As Khaled said, mm. We don't tell people, you know, what uh, what trend to follow or not follow when it comes to diets, but mm. we do educate you on how the diet works so that you can make the best decision for you if it works for you, your family or not. Wow, wow. I mean, as you've been talking, I was thinking like, what course should I take? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I feel like, no, I want to really, you know, diversify myself a bit, you know, get Absolutely. into a new field altogether. As you can see, I'm not really the most fit person, but you know, I do appreciate fitness. That's for That's sure. awesome. So we actually do a bunch of workshops as well. So okay. those are formal certifications, but we love to give. Um, okay. That's a big part of our company. Values is to give value to people. Amazing. And we don't charge for a lot of it as well. Mm. So you can jump on and get some information about how to eat properly just for yourself. Wow. We'll give you a bunch of tools and resources of how to make that easy, what to do with Energy Gym. You can check us out on our website, on our Instagram page as well. Um, I fit this YouTube channel. Oh, wow, yeah. YouTube very channel. busy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, so we just try and put that value out. And again, it's something we try to instill in our clients as well, in our students, that they give more value that they're going to receive. So. It, 
is so beautiful because the thing is, you know, speaking of Bahrain, right? Mm -hmm. We've been so used to the fact that we will go to a consultant or a gym instructor, you know, and we receive information and just like, you know, follow these instructions. Mm -hmm. But for the fact to get the opportunity to be an instructor yourself, mm -hmm. that is just beautiful. So I really appreciate what you're doing here. I mean, you're giving like, like new opportunities for everybody here. So do you, do you see like, you know, what kind of future is going to happen here as you opened up this opportunity for us? Yeah, so look, our mission is to raise the uh, standards of health and fitness globally, as you remember. Mm -hmm. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> our mission is to raise the standards of health and fitness globally. And we really feel like it's been amazing over the last four years here in Bahrain. We've mm. been able to do that somewhat. And we want to continue with that mission in providing education and really empowering Bahrainis and the locals to to be the best trainers and to be the best, the beacon for health and fitness around mm. the world. Because the, like we said, this is our home and we hope to not just deliver courses here in Bahrain, but our vision is to have our courses being taken right. in every country in the world. Right. So because of online training mm -hmm. right now, it's, it's where we're well yeah. on the way. <laughs> it's all yeah. 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 And training future trainers, it's, this is um, our mission. So our, from our very own students are where we look for our future instructors right. who will help train the next generation of trainers. Wow. Uh, so yeah, they, and our students are, are passionate and motivated. So when you get a certification with us, it doesn't just end there. We do help you when it comes to finding jobs, helping students prepare for it, um, your presentation in the fitness industry. Um, we do assist with all of that because we, well, we want the best for them. Mm -hmm. Amazing, amazing. Now, I always say like my job is to do as little as possible <laughs> um, to get the best recruits and like I said, it's a pool of talent here in Bahrain. Right. And our job is to empower those guys to really lead the way to be their company, their education and to, wow. to spearhead this charge for health and fitness. In general. Wow, wow, there's <laughs> a lot going on. Just hearing this and I feel the energy right now. I know it's just gonna be just better and better and better. <laughs> what, when you see, when you came to Bahrain and you saw the fitness, let's say, industry over here, mm -hmm. so what was your impression? So like the moment you accepted Bahrain and said, you know what, I'm gonna establish my, um, what could, would I call it an academy at this point? Um, just Fitness Education Institute is fine, Institute, Academy right? is fine. <laughs> so when you opened up here in Bahrain, what was your impression about the fitness industry here in Bahrain? Um, it was quite, it's established, there's lots of gyms, you know, right. gyms all over the place. There's some excellent trainers here as well. So we have lots of different levels of knowledge and education. Right. So we know people with PhDs that are delivering courses here. We know owners of gyms that have mm. some real great knowledge. Um, at the same time, a lot of the owners, they struggle to recruit people with education as well. So yeah, when we saw that, we saw the different levels and we definitely saw that gap that we can fill not just courses like here mm. you go use your certificate mm. get out of here right it's to actually have a full-time established education facility where it can be ongoing and not just the courses but also mentorship because once you have the basic qualifications you still need guidance and again it's kind of putting the pieces together right so that they have everything they need to be successful so just set them up for success, basically. <laughs> Amazing. I'm still thinking of which course should I take now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I am so pumped and so motivated. The fact is, you know, as you mentioned earlier, depends on which course we'll take, uh, what kind of skills is required for what course, and everything is clear. I mean, it's just beautiful. It's just like walk in, see what fits you. Yeah, and we say, look, do what you love to all our clients as well. So don't do it because, you know, you want to earn some more money on the side or something. Like right. The best clients, the best students that we have are the ones that have had a personal experience with fitness or they okay. want to go and grab that experience. Okay. And once they've found that, they want to share it with other people. I guess they're all about giving. And once they have that, once do what you love. <laughs> Simple as that. Amazing. Amazing. So, wow. Wow. Well, again, thank you so much, Shukran, for what you're doing here, opening an opportunity for everybody just to find something new, right? Especially in a healthy way of what you're presenting. So with all that being said, I mean, any last words to your viewers? Um, anything that you can <laughs> think of? Uh, Some ways to say. <laughs> wow, yes. Um, well, we have courses coming up. Um, right. where we are always uh, offering courses. And so just contact us, reach out to us um, that, so that we can help you find your way and help you fulfill your passion. We have something really for everyone. Right. Our only requirement is passion. Passion. passion for, yes. Absolutely. Yeah, and also I'd like to again thank the for the Bahraini community for receiving us so well and just to let you know that look, we're here to support you in whatever your health and fitness goals are. 
um, as far as restaurants to help them to count the calories and put those on the menu. We're here to serve you guys. So whatever right. is that you need is your health and fitness um, needs, we're here to help. Amazing. <laughs> well, it's been an honor. It's been a pleasure and much appreciation to your amazing efforts Thank you. for opening up this beautiful opportunity to Bahrain. Thank you so much. Much Thank appreciated. You. Thanks. Definitely. Thank well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Melody and Khaled from the IFA in Bahrain to give us a new look into fitness. All that took place in interview right here on Bahrain Now. Ladies and gentlemen, as parents, the sign of a great parenting is not the child's behavior. The sign of a truly great parenting is the parent's behavior. Here in the studio, we have Marina, who is a motivational speaker with a bachelor's in psychology and postgraduate in child and family psychology. So, good evening, Marina Dopina. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am fantastic because I was so psyched and excited to know that you'll be with us here on Bahrain now. Thank you for having me here. Really, oh, it's uh, the honor. Oh, Thank you so much. The honor is all ours. As you know, me being a father myself, I have two beautiful kids and you know, be having a father and mother as well, coming from a different kind of culture to the one it is today. It is just so important to see what is parenting all about but now we are hearing about the family child psychology. So what is that? So let's start with the child psychology. So the child psychology is the study of subconscious and conscious childhood development. So in the other words, uh, we study behavior and the mind of a child. Mm. You see, so we have a close uh, focus on how a child develops, not only physically, okay. but mentally and emotionally. Wow. You see, so I think that to uh, getting uh, to know a child, how he develops, it's very, very important for each parent because mm. parenting is not easy. No. Let's agree. <laughs> it's oh, yes. no uh, way, I should know. I no should way know. easy. But when we know how the child sees the world, right. how we, um, how to write, teach them the right skills, sorry, okay. how to train or how to motivate for something, mm. it's also the parents have to have skills. Oh yeah. You see? Mm. So because, um, can, can I say something like metaphorical? Because Please, I think ahead. like theory, nobody likes theory, right? Mm. I, I don't think somebody will be interested in that. So as a metaphor, imagine that when the baby born, it's a blank list, it's empty. Right. And who start drawing it? Parents. Parents. Yes. Parents. Then, for example, grandparents, then right. relatives, right. then when the child starts the kindergarten or school, teachers, friends, society. So, but let's start from the basic, from okay. the base, right? So okay. the foundation, the, um, the main base right. of the child character will be parents and child relationship. Man, they start to paint. They start to paint first. You see, it will affect uh, and their personality and their life choices and the behavior patterns that they will use in future. You see, they right. will build up their future path accord according how mommy or daddy uh, explained to him or her the things, mm. how the world works. Oh, wow, wow, oh, wow. So it's very, very important it to is. have like you know to educate parents according how to bring up kids in a healthy environment in a safety environment okay you okay. see so uh, you know a lot of when I check uh, online I see articles only like mom is the important figure mm. Mm. do you agree with that well yes I mean mom is a very important figure why mm. Okay, why? You know, that is a very good question. Because we've just been taught that mom, you know, this is just your mom, whatever happens, uh, she is the most important figure. So I'm just thinking right now, you know, being married, uh, like with my, the mother, mother of my children and with my mom, is that they give birth 
to us, right? They took care of us. They've been holding us for the first five or six years. So mostly we're hearing whatever my mom is saying more than anybody else. So am I answering it right or what do you think? Uh, well, I agree with you that the mother is the, the first the give birth and the first per, uh, person whom baby sees. You know, before uh, when I had the birth, before I had the birth with my older baby, mm. I went even salon. I wanted that my baby would be born and see beautiful mom, you know? <laughs> I was worried that she was like, oh my God, what this dragon is <laughs> looking at me, you know? Wow. So uh, uh, I did really best of me to look really nice for my child. Okay. So it is a joke, you know, this very cool, but um, for a baby, the first year it's uh, viral to have a mom. Without mom, he cannot survive. Mm. The mom breastfeed, right? right. The mom uh, provide the uh, security, you know, right. the, the, first, the first year. Through mom, the child start trust the world. First baby start trust the mom. Then he trusts the world. So if the mom being distant, you know, if the mom didn't took good care of the baby, or 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 it might be even overprotective moms, you know this? <gasps> don't don't do that. Don't go that. So the baby right. feels that oh, if my mommy is scared, it means that the world out of there, it, it's scary. You know, right. it's not safe out of there. Right. So, but with mom, you're right. The bond will be. F f forever, mm. you know, because this bond formed even when the baby inside of the mom's right. tum right. tummy. But here I want to say about that. So I think that that's the same important figure for a baby. And I will explain to you why. Please do. The uh, fathers, you know, uh, we call it the father can be anyone. To be dad, mm. it takes lifetime. Right. The dad from the start, it's a, as a metaphor again, it's a mountain, it's a security, it's a safety for a baby, not only physical, but emotional. Mm. Especially for girls, the father is very important to form their self-esteem. Okay. I always advise and always tell fathers, please, five minutes of your time, just say, baby, I love you. You look beautiful. Right. I'm proud of you. Right. Oh, you're my princess. That, you know, several phrases. For you, it's not counted as even time, but for her in future, it will make a huge difference. She will, because for her father, it's a future model of? Being a mom. No, future partner. Future she will partner, look, oh wow. She will look the same, uh, you know the same character that she's seen in father she will look for it okay in the man in the future with whom she wants to spend her life if the father was caring and gentle she will look for the same okay for boys different because i remember you told me you have boy and girl yes. right so yes. my advice to you to your little girl always say you love her okay for the boys it's also very important about how to uh, express your love, I also will, would like to stop and talk about it more in details. Please. Okay, so about the boys, for boys, uh, what do you think when a boy look at that, what he sees? For me, th the bond that I have with my son, not only is a father or son, but it's friends. Friends? You know, I, I okay. pretty much enjoy a lot of things with my son, like whether it's video games or just goofing around, that kind okay. of stuff, you know, just have fun and always talk to him. It's like, you know, I'm proud of him and okay. how I see, him, see that he's an awesome kid and he's pretty much smart. <laughs> it's <laughs> like, it's like dude, I'm learning from you right okay. now. It's an honor to be your dad. So the relationship that I see right now is pretty much from, a, I wouldn't say a mentor, okay. but from a mentor, a friend, a big brother and a father. But do you notice that your son copies you? Yes, yes, yes. So this is what boys do. They copy their dad. The dad for them, it's a role model how to be a man when they grow. Mm -hmm. he, he, uh, you are for him, it's uh, you know ideal picture to what they always will try to reach. You see what I mean? So right. if, for example, sometimes happens that the father is not in the family, right? Mm -hmm. 
many situations. Right. We, we, we're not talking now sure. about the reasons. Yeah. But in this case, if the dad does, uh, that, sorry, the son doesn't have a dad, it's very important to find male model for him, like mm. older, for example, older brother or cousin or uncle or granddad. If there is nobody in the family, it's very good, for example, sport coach right. or a teacher. So somebody male and older who would show him the way how to take responsibility, right? how to deal with the difficult and stressful situation. Mm. You see, so this is very, very important. Okay, now that was very interesting. The way you put it together and all of this and the importance of having the film together and how, like you said, we're painting the foundation and all of that and how the son pretty much copies, you know, the dad or dad, if yeah. he's not around, any male figure that you can actually copy him. Same yes. thing with the girl as she looks for validation and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, there is a lot going on, definitely. And what you're doing here is just an amazing painting in all of this. Now, with all of that coming together and with the family psychology, how can we form the self-esteem of our kids? Uh, so, look, here about the self-esteem, as I said, uh, the whole thing of the parenting as a, our painting, right? right? This is the foundation of self-esteem. But I would also add here, uh, frequently express the love. Remember that's what we started with. Right. Ex express your love, but very important uh, to say, I love you to a child, not because you brought the best mark. Oh, you shared your favorite toy with your younger brother or sister. Mm. Oh my God, I love you for that. Mm. No. When you love your child, you love unconditionally. Right. Right? And when, uh, I know it's a very, um, you know, common question when, mm, and actually I hear this a lot outside, right. if the baby did something wrong, bad action, right? Right. How we call the child as usual? Say that again. How we call the child at that moment, at that situation, as usual. What is automatically coming out of our mouth? The situation, give me that situation again. Okay, uh, the boy's playing uh, with the toys and one hits another one. I don't know, two brothers. Or bro okay. You have brother and sister. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, so daughter so. and son. So they're brother and sisters, right? And for example, the boy hits the girl. Right. Hey, stop it. What are you doing? Or as well, we call bad boy. Okay, we'll call him bad boy, sure. Do we? Yeah. To we be do honest, that. we I, do. I, I, I'm, we I'm do. Like, hey, chill. What are <laughs> you doing? Don't be a okay. bad guy here. Yeah, but this is wrong. This is wrong. Personality and action. There is nothing to do. Uh, like it, it's completely different things. As a person, as a person, you cannot say he's bad or good. He did a bad action. But it doesn't mean that he's a bad boy. Because look, it will confuse your child very easily. It even can confuse me. Like for example, now you say, oh, bad boy, right? You cannot hit your sister. And in two minutes, he will come to his sister and say, you know what, I'm so sorry. I was wrong. I was angry. I, I didn't control my temper. I'm sorry. And then what we say, oh, good boy. Mm. So you see, it, it, it's, re it's uh, pretty confusing for a child. So am I a bad boy or am I a good boy? So what I do, the action can be bad or can be good. But about personality, it's, you know, it doesn't link. So when we love and when we express the love, uh, we exp express it, you know, uh, without any condition. We just love because who he is. Doesn't matter he brought the highest mark or the lowest mark. Okay. We don't stop loving the child anyway. Okay. What also I would like to add is to spend quality. That they, I would even put, you know, the pressure on the word quality time. Quality time. With, the ch with your children. Wow, wow. Uh, it's not like, you know, because some parents can ask, oh, how long I have to stay with my child? One hour, two hour, three hours? Doesn't matter. You mm. can spend 15 minutes, 15 minutes, but you will be involved. Fully focused. Fully focused. Especially now when it's like modern world, the parents work in the full time. The social media. Social media, right. But can you imagine this situation? Uh, so I, I will give you example. So I think that will be easier possibly understand what right. I mean. So we, for example, sitting here as a family and playing Monopoly. Right. At the same time, daddy watching football. Right. 
mommy checking Instagram. Right. Right? And the baby trying to play. Right. So do we really, really are we involved mm. in the game? Mm. Do we really spend right now quality time with our child? Wow, wow, wow. No. How the child will react? I will even tell you how the child will react. Or he will say, you know what, guys, I'm not interested. I don't like this game anymore. I'm done. Because he will read from their parents that they not. You know, the kids, the most important part, the kids, they don't read from the parents that, oh, they're not interested in game. He will uh, um, read it as uh, they're not interested in me. Mm. Okay. They don't love me. So right. if we spend time, we have to sure. spend a quality time with our children. Wow, wow. Y you know, I can see there's so much to be said here. It is just an unbelievable, uh, right now I just like lost track and like I'm just listening fully because being a parent and other parents as well, you look at this as we were just, l we enter this world, you know, as parents. And all we do is pretty much the same thing that our parents used to do for us and thinking that we can carry on a little bit of that. And the things we did not like about our parents, we won't do them again with our parents. But you said it yourself, it's at skill. Yeah. Now, again, we can talk about this for like, I guess, hours and hours. But it's true. <laughs> few words, last few words to your viewers, what would that be? Um, I would use the word last as abbreviation. Listen, apologize, mm. solve, and say thank you. Wow. Listen, apologize, solve the problem, and thank each other. I love that. I mean, I'm right, right here. Well, speaking of thank you, thank you. Thank for you. this talk, I really appreciate it. And I'm sure Bahrain appreciates you for all you've been saying and doing here in the Thank kingdom. Thank you so much. It's been a great pleasure having you right here on Bahrain now. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it with Marina. You know, family is important and children are the most precious thing we have in our lives. Take care of them as you had the abbreviation of last. All that took place with Marina right here on Bahrain now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to the finish line. A huge thank you to all of our guests for joining us tonight. And another huge thank you to all of you watching us at home. As always, be sure to reach out to us on our social media accounts shown below. We love hearing from you. This was Bara Abdullah. Till next time, Bahrain, goodbye and God bless.